Across Liverpool, NHS nurses continue to strike following the government's refusal to negotiate on the current year's pay deal. Nurses won an 11% pay increase. I think that obviously the impact that the cuts and that are all having on not you know on people's lives there's, there's queues down on the corridor every single day people's dignity all those staff are doing their absolute best is, 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 is just unattainable at the minute and I think that and I think also you know the impact is having on staff the mental health the you know they're, they're, they're absolutely drained and they, they just can't go on anymore They'll take place at 73 hospitals in England, the highest intensity in history. But the strikes don't just affect nurses. These last two years have been the worst it's been for uh, all our staff. Not just nursing staff, not just clinicians, but all our NHS staff. It's been, um, it's trebled our workload um, due to COVID. Obviously, it's put a pressure on the staff morale has been low, it's the lowest it's ever been. When you've got nursing staff that don't feel well enough to come to work because of the pressures, of financial pressures they've got, it puts an impact on the staff around them. Uh, everyone's covering, everyone's doing two to three jobs. Megan Feeney, Merseyfocus News.